Hello and welcome to our today's lesson. In this lesson, I'm going to work on exercise 8.1 of Cambridge Primary Mathematics Learner's Book 5. And this exercise is about probability. Probability, you may know, is showing the possibility of something happening. The possibility of something happening can be impossible, can be certain, or can have even chance of happening. And the questions covered in this exercise are all about probability. The first question in this exercise says, copy the likelihood scale. As you see, the scale shown here is called the likelihood scale, which is impossible from the left to certain on the right. It has other possibility as unlikely, even chance, and likely. So it says, draw a rose to show the likelihood of the following events happening. The first part, which is part A says, when you roll a dice, you will get a three. As you know, a dice has six numbers on it, one to six. And getting a three is one out of six possible outcomes when you roll a dice. So getting a three when you roll a dice is unlikely because it is one out of six possible outcomes. So I will label this as A. Part A is unlikely because getting a three is unlikely when you roll a dice. In part B it says, when you flip a coin, it will land on tails. You know that a coin has two possible outcomes. It will land on tails or land on heads. So landing on tails is one out of two possible outcomes. So landing on tails, we can say, is having even chance. So I will draw the arrow on the even chance and label this as B. Part C says, it will rain today. It will rain today depends on the situation or in the area where you live. You can see the area, it can be cloudy, it can be sunny, or it can be very dark that is nearly raining. And the place that I am now is covered by the cloud. So I will say it is likely to rain. So I will say it is likely to rain. So this one is labeled as C. In part D, it says, write three statements of your own and add them to the likelihood scale. Writing the statements is much dependent on the context. You can write statements about the situations, about any happenings. So here, I will decide to have a bag of something. Let's say we have a bag of counters. In this bag of counters, we have 10 counters. Let's say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We have 10 counters in this bag. And these counters are of different colors. I will say 5 of them are red. So I will label as R, R, R. R, R, R. So R shows red. And we will say two of them are white. Two of them are blue. And one of and one of them is green. We have 10 counters in the bag. Five of them are red. Two are white. Two are blue. And one is green. Now we can simply write our statements about them. Let me scroll a bit up. So the first statement that I'm going to write, I will say, I will, I will pick a green counter. Let's say a green counter. I will pick a green counter. Because we don't have the likelihood scale, I will draw one here. I will draw here. Okay, so this one here is impossible. I will write as IMP 
this one unlikely unlikely this one even chance i will write as ec even chance this one is likely this one is likely and this one is certain certain now i said i will pick a green counter how many counters do we have here yes we have 10 counters out of 10 counters that is going to be picked how many of them are green only one so is it impossible unlikely even chance likely or certain it is unlikely because the possibility of picking a green counter is very less the second statement that i'm going to write is i will i will pick i will pick a red counter i will pick a red counter let's label them as a b i will pick a red counter what is the likelihood it is likely so b is likely let me write here b and here a and the third one that i will write is let's label as c i will i will pick i will pick a black counter i will pick a black counter what is the likelihood of picking a black counter it is impossible it is impossible so the statement c is impossible why because we don't have any black counters here we have blue we have white we have red and green but we don't have any black counter this is how we can make these statements depending on the context of our situation well let's scroll up to go to question two in question two again it says copy this likelihood scale we have the scale here it says look at this spinner as you can see we have a spinner which is having four colors on it and four numbers at the same time and it says mark the likelihood of each of these outcomes on your likelihood scale so part a says is scoring an odd number is scoring an odd number over here and this spinner is certain why because all the numbers given here are odd numbers so i will label this as certain a is certain because any number that the spinner is landing on will be an odd number part b says is scoring an even number do we have any even numbers here no we don't so it is impossible part b part b is impossible c says is scoring less than five out of the four possible outcomes that we have here only one is only one outcome is less than five only one outcome is less than five so it is unlikely part c is unlikely d says is scoring a number greater than six we have four possible outcomes here and two of them are getting a number greater than six so it is even chance because out of four two of them are getting a number which is greater than six well question two is also done in question three it says which two shapes are equally likely to be taken from this bag as you look at the bag we have three pyramids two cubes and two spheres the pyramids are more and the two shapes which are having equal chance of being taken is the cube and the sphere so i will write cube and a sphere why because the number of cubes are the same as the number of spheres well question three is also done it was quite easy let me scroll up to go to question four in question four it says sophia has this bag of later tiles she takes one tile out of the bag at a time she writes the letter then puts the tile back into the bag copy and complete the sentences sentence a says there are 
how many letter tiles? Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we can write there are 8 letter tiles. And again, dash of the tiles are the letter E. How many of the tiles are the letter E? 4 of them. 4 of the tiles are the letter E. In part C it says, the chance of taking a letter E is unlikely, even chance or certain. It is even chance because out of the eight possible outcomes, four of them are taking the letter E. In part D it says, it is equally likely to take, it is equally likely that Sophia will take letter dash or letter dash. Which of the two letters here have the same or the equal chances of being taken? That is the letter S and M. So I can write S or letter M. Well, in part E it says letter dash is the most likely to be taken. As you look to the back, which is having the highest number? So that is the most likely to be taken. Letter E. Letter E is the most likely to be taken. Well, in question five, it says, write two sentences of your own about the likelihood of Sophia taking different tiles from the back in question four. Different tiles from the back in question four. The first one that I can write is, it is, it is unlikely. It is unlikely for Sophia, it is unlikely for Sophia to take, let me write here, to take the letter, to take the letter S. It is unlikely for Sophia to take the letter S. Why? Because out of the eight possible outcomes, only one of them is taking the letter S. Well, Let's just scroll up so that we should have enough space for the next statement. The second one that I'm going to write is, it is, it is impossible. It is impossible for Sophia. It is impossible for Sophia to take, to take the letter, to take the letter, P. It is impossible for Sophia to take the letter P. And you can tell why. Why it's impossible? Because we don't have any letter P in this bag. See, this can also be one of the possibilities. So, with question 5, we are done with all the questions of exercise 8.1 of Cambridge Primary Mathematics Learners Book 5. I hope it helps you learn how to solve the questions related to probability. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel, like the video and share the video with your friends, your classmates and your students if you're a teacher. Have a nice time and thank you so much.